Hello, April. Nice to see you. We will get going here shortly. Hi, Cheryl. And Deborah. Here come my gals. Hope everybody is doing well after this wet day. The sun's shining here, so we're pretty happy. It's going to be cooler, so we will go with that. All right, it is 7 o'clock. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Facebook Live with the Wexford Stamper. My name is Barbara Reed. I am the Wexford Stamper, and today I was forced to move one of my Facebook Live Peach Week projects into the next week just because I had one day that I was not able to get on live and I didn't want to let out this lead out this card because I really love this one. This uses a lot of the um, beautiful paper and it's really easy to put together. It's a real easy one that you could replicate and make a whole stack of them. So thank you so much for joining. I'm going to go ahead and get started now and I just want to quickly review the products that I'm going to be using this evening and they are quickly becoming my favorites in the catalog. We have the photopolymer set called Sweet as a Peach. Love it. And I, we will be using the coordinating dies, just called the peach dies. And of course, the amazing paper, which is really my favorite part of the sweet. So those are what we're going to be using. Remember that there will be a downloadable PDF for this project, just as there has been for all the other projects. And you can find all those specifics with the dimensions, a video tutorial, and the downloadable PDF on my blog. And that's the wexfordstamper.blogspot.com. And you can also just grab the videos on my YouTube channel, which you just have to search the Wexford Stamper, and there I am. All right, this is the copy of today's PDF, and that will be a link on my blog if you would like a copy of it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is our cute little project for today. It's a birthday card, but of course you could make it any kind of card you like. So let's go ahead and get started. I said that about 10 times, I think. All right, I'm gonna start with a piece of the pale papaya. I know that's one of your favorite, Cheryl, me too. And this is cut at eight and a half by five and a half. And it's scored on the long side at four and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my bone folder and crease that score. And we're gonna have a regular side panel, side opening on the, on the card, but you can choose to have top opening as well. All right, let's go ahead and start working on our card front. I'm gonna put the base over here. We're going to be using this piece of pear pizzazz first, and this is cut at, oh, let's see. What is it, four by five and a quarter, okay? And then we are going to have this cute little polka dot piece. This, is, this has the um, Calypso coral on it. I just love this piece. And this is cut at three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So it's a little tighter around the outside. I've been doing this a little bit on my cards. Instead of doing the quarter inch um, difference with the layering um, panels, I did an eighth of an inch, but it's really up to you, whichever you like better. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Tombow and put a nice thin layer on the back of my cardstock. Oh, I just hate doing it. This is so pretty, but you, some, some side's gonna have to be the back side on this card. All right, so I love using the Tombow because it gives me a little bit of time to wiggle my DSP around and get it right where I want it, especially when we have that really, really tiny little border around it. 
Yes, I know, April. These are the colors, and I pull these out every time as well. These are just the most beautiful colors, and this is the color palette for this card. Pear Pizzazz, Pale Papaya, Calypso Coral, Balmy Blue. It's really the, car, the color um, palette for the entire suite, and that's what I think. I love it so much. All right, now we're going to go ahead and make another panel to put on top of the panel we've already made. This one, we're going to start with another pear pizzazz piece, and this is cut at three and an eighth by four and three eighths. And this DSP, which is one of my favorite with the balmy blue, this is cut at three by four and a quarter. So I'm going to turn that over. Oh, look at that pretty balm balmy blue polka dot on the back. Sorry, you're going to have to be the back this time around. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that and I'm going to put that on this new pear pizzazz panel. And then I'm going to take it right to here and I'm going to put that flat down on the larger panel. Put a little thin layer of the Tombow and there we go. So there is our start. So pretty, such pretty, pretty colors. Now, before we move on, we're going to go ahead and get some of the gorgeous pale papaya ribbon. Look at this. This is from the new in colors and they have this beautiful ribbon in all the different colors and the new in colors. And I've been using a lot of the pale papaya, that's for sure. All right, so I'm gonna cut myself a nice piece of the pale papaya. And I'm gonna turn my card front over. I'm going to take my seal and I'm just gonna put a line, a line of the seal across the back and that's going to allow me to kind of secure that ribbon on the back just so it won't slide up and down. Then I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna grab the two ends of my ribbon and I'm gonna tie a ribbon to the right-hand side of my card. All right, so let's see how we can do this evening. We had a class last night and Dory and I were commenting we had really a good luck day with our bow making. So yeah, hey, not too bad again tonight. All right, so I like to keep it to the right hand side so that we can put our little label in the center. So here we go. And now with it having that little bit of snail on the back, it's gonna keep it from moving up and down, okay? So there we go. Now, after I finish that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the whole panel over, ribbon and all. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back here and raise this piece up on the front of our card. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm encouraged that the weather is going to be a little cooler the next few days. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and take this piece and put it on my card front. There we go. All right, so far so good. Okay, now let's go ahead and do a little bit of stamping. We don't have a lot to do. We have a strip here. This is a three quarter inch strip. It's two and a half inches long and we're gonna go ahead and put our sentiment on there. And we're gonna use two of the lovely colors. We're gonna use the Calypso Coral and the Balmy Blue. Okay, I'm gonna first grab the Happy Birthday and that is going to go right 
in the middle, kind of toward the top because we need a little space underneath to put the second part of our sentiment. The second part is it's your day and I'm gonna grab the Calypso coral for that. And that's just gonna go directly under. There we go, it's your birthday. It's your day, happy birthday, it's your day. All right, now let's leave out the Calypso coral and we're gonna bring in the pale papaya. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stamp a peach. So let's go ahead and grab a piece of basic white scrap. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my peach. Okay, this is the large peach image. And I have my little sponge dauber that we talked about earlier in Peach Week and I will show you what I do with that. I'm gonna first ink up with the pale papaya. Then I'm going to turn my peach over and I'm gonna dab a little bit of the Calypso coral onto my sponge dauber and then just lightly dab around the right hand edge of the peach. Watch what happens, this looks awesome. And you can see it gets a little darker along the left-hand side there, just to give it a little more depth. Remember, these stamps are very in the style of watercolor, so you're gonna have some white spaces and some spaces that are a little lighter, and that's the way it was designed. So um, don't be alarmed if that happens. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close these up before I put my finger in them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my last bit of stamping here. And this is paper pizzazz. That's what's so great about stamping up paper and ink and blends, everything matches. So there I just used straight um, pear pizzazz to make that little leaf. All right, now, as you know, there is a coordinating set of dies, and we would put the dies on both of these and run those through the cut and emboss machine, and that would give us these two pieces here. How cute are these? Okay, so there's a die that's gonna cut out each of those individually. There's also a, a cute die that cuts out the smaller ones the flowers, and even this little branch there. So it's a great set of dies. All right, and the last piece we're gonna use is this stitched label from the Stitched So Sweetly dies, one of my favorites. Thank you, Cheryl. All right, so now I'm gonna grab some more dimensionals, and we're gonna pop up our peach, because it is kind of the centerpiece of our card. Okay, and then we're gonna put just a little piece of a dimensional on the top, small leaf here. I don't have my mini dimensionals close by, so this is gonna have to do. So I'm just gonna put this one up on the top, on the smaller leaf there, and you'll understand why I'm gonna do that, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the left-hand top of my peach right there, because the um, leaf is going to set right down on there, okay? So I'm gonna bring this in. I'm gonna slide the stem behind my peach and then gently lay it down there. And the leaf that is off the peach has the little dimensional on it, so it'll keep it all at about the same height. All right, now let's bring this back in. Two more dimensionals. We're going a little dimensional crazy today. I'm gonna put one at the top and the bottom because we are gonna have it straddle our pretty ribbon here in the center. All right, then we're gonna go ahead 
and put our little peach on there. Okay, and lastly, I'm gonna do something here. This bow is too far to the left. So I'm gonna reopen. If it wasn't already adhered, I'd be able to slide the bow, but I adhered it to keep it from sliding, which is a good thing. But now I just have to tie my bow again and keep it closer to the edge this time. Okay, whoops. All right, that is much better, okay over toward the side, and then we won't have the problem with the not being able to put our label right in the center, okay? So now that's over there. I can push this over and get our label right in the center where we need it. And that's even too far over that way. I'm getting a little crazy here. All right, there we go. All right, now we have it right in the center, okay? So just a reminder, you wanna make sure you keep that um, ribbon very far over to the right so that we can place our um, label right in the center. Last thing is our rectangle that we stamped, three quarters by two and a half. And I'm just gonna put it down here at the bottom and have it start right at the edge of the pear pizzazz cardstock there. Okay, so there's that. And the last thing I always like to do is put a piece of the white, basic white, sorry, cardstock, and that's gonna go right inside. You can stamp another sentiment here. You or you can just do something writing, written. So there you have it. There is project number five from Peach Week. Let me grab them all and let you take a look, a review of our week. All right, let's go to Monday. Monday was this card here. Okay. Tuesday was our fun little bag. Remember, all these are on my blog. If you're interested in doing any of these projects, you can always check my blog. This is Tuesday, the cute little bag. All you do is you make a square like a box and then you wrap the beautiful designer series paper around it. Very easy, that was Tuesday. Wednesday, love this one all blue using that beautiful balmy blue and here this one has the branch that is this, the one stamp from the stamp set and the smaller little oranges oh is it your favorite deborah i know me too i've been working with it so much then on thursday we skipped because of a commitment i had but then here was the next day this cute little um box that has the peach rings and the peach mango hand sanitizer. So that was the next. And then we had this pretty one with, oh, no, we didn't. That was another project. And let's see, our last one was today, which is this one I'm getting, I'm off on. That was one from the kit. Okay, so this was the last one. All righty. Yep. So, remember, if you're interested in any of those tutorials, they will be on my blog and on my YouTube channel. Next week, I have some great 4th of July card and gift ideas. So don't forget to tune back in next, th next Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock for some great 4th of July ideas. All right, thanks for joining this evening and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.